that's a lot of diggers. Well, here we are. It's uh, Sunday the 5th of March, uh, 2023 for you time travellers. Uh, excuse the lurgy. Uh, I've been given some antibiotics off the doctor. Uh, it's starting to, to work. It's magic, but well, rough all week. We have been doing a bit of work on the plot, as you will see. Um, we've actually been doing some seed sowing. I've been moving some pots out the front greenhouse. I'll show you where we put them as well. We've been doing some peas in gutters. This morning I've been um, to antiques and uh, been on the car boot fairs uh, looking for, for coins. I bought a couple, not a lot. I'll share them at the end of the video with you. Uh, but a beautiful Roman, silver Roman um, Constantine um, coin there. Or, um, um, a silver, not sort of just a proof set. It's a claim and bill of rights um, year set, but it's a proof set. So uh, you know, I'll share them at the video. You do book up, eh? What? You very stuffed your face. We're running out of coffee here as well, so um, it's it's not happy days. Uh, I'm going to be heading off in a bit once I put the video together. I do know Buttercup, she's doing that thing, what she always does. Circling me like a bloody lion, ready to pounce. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to start off the video um, with um, trying to clear some of the jump up then. I've had it. Um, in the, the front greenhouse, we had to move some pots. There was some air sims in there in the big pot. Uh, there was a couple of... Um, Tulips as well what we needed to get out let me show you yeah, show you where we put them well guys today we're moving these um, three pots outside we will eventually get onto the strawberries but I need to move them three pots out I'm going to put them um, on the front of my plot um, just in between me red and white currants and me me raspberries and they're sitting the border and uh, it should look it should give a nice flowering display i will move them later on in the year but uh right now them three buckets are going well let me show you where they're going the ice hems are going in the middle and the tulips are going either side in this bed there's buttercup there stuff in the face but where we're going to put them is just behind these bushes here all right that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to get on with that i'm going to bring the bushes out the pots that is and place them into the bed and um, then we create some a bit of room in the in the front greenhouse the strawberries by the way are going in this bed here but not today so let me go and get me buckets and we'll put them in there yeah me uh the ice hems are doing all right there if i leave them in the greenhouse too long I won't be able to go in the greenhouse because the perfume's too strong. So, first ones go in there. Let's go and get the others. Yeah, these are just starting to come up now so we'll get them out and they should be fine perfect so they'll look pretty cool there in a few weeks time they'll be flowering Right, that's one job done. Let's move on to the next one. So yeah, they're in this bed out here at the moment. They're doing fine. I was going to put the strawberries out, but someone said, hey, Mark said there's snow on the way in the next week or two, so you're going to lay off uh, putting them strawberries out, which has made it pretty difficult for me to do anything in the front greenhouse. I'm running out of space, you know, it's that time of year, seeds sowing. You'll get to see some of the seeds that are germinated in the back greenhouse in a bit. But uh, I thought what we'll do, we'll start off with um, doing some peas in gutters. We do it early onwards this year. 
Um, we usually use Calvin Wonder, but I, we'll probably will do them later on in the um, do another seed sowing. But right now we're doing the early onwards and um, the bloody keys are covered in muck. Yeah, um, the the early onward we're doing the same as a Calvin Wonder peas in gutters. Uh, we're using Clover Multi Purpose Compost. Um, give you a few tips how I actually how I, how I like to sow them and um, a few tips on watering especially with that clover compost so let me show you this clip and we'll be right back well guys today I'm doing these um, early onwards uh, peas and what I'm doing put some clover into these uh, gutters an inch in might need some more compost out of the greenhouse to finish them off but yeah we level it all out you can leave all the lumps this loam because it just retains the moisture it's uh, you don't put, use this stuff when you're doing the seeds though so you make sure you get all this lot out but yeah what I'm doing doing two right, first things first <coughs> What I'm going to do, I'm going to wet it so the seeds stick to the compost. So I've got my watering can here, tap water. Been in this uh, watering can for <coughs> a week or so. Right, so the, the compost is sown. Now you can sprinkle these everywhere, but I like to do a, a pattern. Um, the pattern is like a pattern of five one in the middle we do this all the way up Now, what we're going to do is cover them over. The trick here is not to go too high because when the seeds germinate, they actually push the compost out of the uh, gutters defeats the object so I like to leave about 10 milli lip all the way along
Right, we give him one more water. Now I won't water these again until these um, peas are at least two inches high. So that's what we've done um, early on wood. So I'm going to stick these now in the back greenhouse and uh, let them tick over and we'll get these out in the next four or five weeks. But yeah, simple. And uh, when we come to put them out, um, what we do, they just slide off the, uh, the gutter. That's why I don't put holes into these um, into these. Um, gutters these hand caps you can pay a pound at b and q wicks or all you know all diy stores you really want the round the round ones um you know the curved um gutter not the square ones the square ones will work and you can get the end caps for them these end caps just stop the the compost from falling out and uh yeah when it gets a bit warmer we just slide them we get another one of these gutters we carve a a trough out with it we sit these in and then just shake them out into it and i'll show you me doing that process again but yeah i'm going to put these now in the back greenhouse i'll show you where we're going to put them in a moment so yeah the 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 clover compost um if you wet it too much it goes green so you, you know you're over watering things but um what you saw me doing there i've watered them peas now and i won't touch them until i get at least an inch high down i water them obviously but um you don't have to keep watering them just don't let them dry out that's that's the most important thing but um yeah we'll get them peas in the gutters outside shortly we've got the the pea frame already made we just drop it into place and put the peas slide them out the gutters into the uh, the beds it's a uh, piece it's 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 so easy to do and all my beds i can put these peas in any bed i can put the pea frame in any bed it's the, all the beds are made and the pea frames are all made to fit each other that's why we take a bit of time when we're building the beds but yeah the kelvin the the early on woods is done i'll show you them in a bit in the back greenhouse when i finish showing you we sowing some seeds in the front greenhouse now uh we was we sold some they're called big max pumpkins i still need to get myself some um Atlantic Giant, they grow bigger than the um, the Big Macs, but the Atlantic Giant, you know, I get a couple of, uh, get four or five seeds, get a good, decent plant, and then um, we'll, we'll try and go for the record again this year. I think it stands at £152. Aaron um, lad up the top there, he come closer uh, last year with a £108 pumpkin. I've got to get them started now, so we'll get a jump on everyone else. That's the trick. Start them early. So we wait with bated breath to see what happens there. But uh, anyway, we've, we've, we've sold some of them. We've sold some celery and some, um, they're called Little Leo um, sunflowers. They only grow to about 18 inches high to two foot. And we use them to put in the um, the planters in the middle of the plot. So let me show you me, me sowing some of them, and then we'll show you where we put them, or some of them, in the back greenhouse. Well guys, uh, what we're going to do, what we're doing today, is um, some of these Big Macs pumpkins. If you're going to win the composition, you need to get them off to an early start. And, um, well, there's no earlier time than March. Um, and that's when we sow as pumpkins. I'm only going to do four. I'm only going to be using two. And um, where's my dibber? It's uh, all in the centre, basically. There we go. These are the big macs that we're going to be sowing. Actually, this, we're going to do four seeds. What I'm going to do is pick the four, the, the, the biggest, whoops, the biggest four. So it's just checking for viability. That's one, two, three, 
you want the fat ones as well they're number four right these ones if these germinate we give these ones away I'll just push them down about three quarters of an inch down now we need to fire them up get them started and what I need to do is wet the seeds compost is a bit dry but it will soak in let that soak in for now as you can see now it's just putting a bit of a uh, compost over the top of them lightly sprinkle it so now the seeds are about an inch below the 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 soil they are a big seed Just press them down what we'll do is put them in a, in a tray and a propagator what we do need we need the label so there's the label pumpkin big max shove that in there No point in wasting a load of uh, labels. We just keep them in the same same tray. There we go. And uh, propagate a lid. Water. One final watering. Won't water them again until I start seeing the see them actually um, coming up. So yeah, that's uh, my big max. I say we'll save these. Can we? If these ones fail, we'll always we'll try again later on. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to 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 do them again if they do fail. I've got a few more seeds here to sow. I'm just just sorting through them. All the ones they have done, I've put into this bag here. That's where these ones are going. And uh, oh, we just sold, we just sold a packet of these there uh, parcel. Like I say, five, uh, five pence. So what you you know, got lots more seeds to sow yet. Oh, what are these ones? Jack o' lanterns. So I think we will do four of them as well. When do we sow them? Oh, actually, next month April. So we'll leave them until next month. We could do them now, I suppose. But these ones here, they can sow them in March, so. Uh, and they'll be sitting in the greenhouse anyway. Right, onwards and upwards, we'll be right back. Hi guys, well, you, you join me doing some celery here, uh, some parcel. Uh, March onwards. And uh, how we do this, turn the pack open. And we sprinkle the seeds everywhere. Just make sure there are some nice lots of seeds there. So what we're gonna do now, um just gonna water this compost. This is clover multi-purpose by the way. Just get it all nice and wet. Sun's outside, the temperature in here is over 62 degrees. Perfect for sowing. These are the seeds, and there's quite a lot of them. I'll probably put more. I am going to sprinkle loads of them in here. In fact, I'm going to put the whole lot in. Now, you might think that's going stupidly. It's just wasting seeds. But get, get this, guys. These seeds will be spread around the allotments. And to be quite honest with you, um, I've got that many seeds, I don't really need to, to save them, so. Yeah, just just tip the whole lot in, that's the idea. There's literally thousands of seeds there. 
we'll prick about two dozen out for myself and then we just give these to the rest of the plot holders I think there might be one or two more left in there so these are the the seeds at uh, the the celery that I'm sowing and now what I'm going to do is quickly wet the seeds again sprinkle some pixie dust over the top of them that's it now you can put formicolite or you know anything like that over them but I just I say just put a sprinkling of uh, clover give them one more watering I won't water them again, I'm just watering, put a bit of water inside the lid to start the process of uh, convection make sure that's closed, That's you want it closed and what happens is as it gets warmer the water evaporates it to the top back straight down onto the um, onto the propagator lid and um, most important label so you know what they are so I'll stick that label in there these will go into the back greenhouse where all the others are and hopefully in the next month well the next three to four weeks we start to see these showing you know we take the lid off as soon as they come up we take the lid off we water them and uh, when we get them to about two inches high then we start pricking them out and putting them into little pots around about this size we'll be using these in a moment but uh yeah there's my celery we're going to try these uh parcel this, this year uh there is other varieties that i've used that i've tried to use well i do use and we get some cracking results as you know but yep yeah, there you go that's so i'm going to move these out of the way now and we're going to crack on with something else give me a second i'm going to put these into the back greenhouse well guys just do me labels little leo we're going to do now so um, some sunflowers yes you can do them in march and well i've got these trays here um, these go into me um my plants which go along the the center of the the plot eventually so We'll get them in now. Right, what I do need is what have I just done with me. No. We'll get this under. That's my riddle. <coughs> right, what I'm doing. Hopefully, we've got enough seeds. Might as well do the holes now while we're at it. Right, so where are we? So there's me little Leo. They, they go to about, I'd say, 500 millis, about a foot high, foot and a half high. And only a small seed. There's one more in there, or oh, there's a couple more in there. So they're the seeds. One per station. Tricky. A little bit bigger these seeds. Makes it a bit easier. I hope I've got enough to do two trays. I think I have. Yeah, I'm most positive now. Yeah, 
Right, so we got four. So what I'm going to do? Uh, the. Right, so there we go. Now what I've got to do now is water them. Get the seeds wet. Now this is a uh, tap water. I always like to so me uh, to use w fresh tap water on me my seeds. Now when I say fresh, it's been in the greenhouse. This um, keep it in the same temperature as what the greenhouse is at the moment. So. And it's been in for nearly two weeks, so all the chlorine has um, evaporated from the the water. Just really give them a good soaking. Right, so I know the. They've got enough water now, just cover them over. Just gently tap them down. Make sure them seeds come in contact with that clover compost. All we need now is a propagator lid, so I think I've got a few hanging around. There's one of them. Put a bit of water inside there. Again, I do not water them until I actually see them germinate. When I see them coming through, that's when I water them again. But these propagator lids will sit quite nicely on here. I'm forgetting to do something now, and I know I'm forgetting to do it. Where are you, little buggers? There we go. There's the label, as the other one, so we know what they are. Sunflowers. Right, so we've got 24, well, there's actually 28 in there. We could, at a pinch, prick a couple of, one of the four of them out if they all germinate. But yeah, little Leo, we put these in the, the planters in the centre of the plot each year. And um, just so something that brings a bit of colour. Anyway, I've got to get these safely away now. And uh, we'll be right back in the greenhouse, the back greenhouse, they shall go. Right guys, this is where I've stuck my peas. Um, these are the new dahlias. What I want to show you here is my lobelia. I think I put too many in these. This lot is taking its time to come up, but this lot, here, these ones, these, um, which ones that I can't read the bloody writing? Uh, the Cascade Mix, the Crystal Palace, uh, the Sapphire Pendula, they're doing, they're all doing right, I mean, I don't know if you can see them, it's a bit patchy, they're drying out a bit, so I'm going to give them a bit of water in a second, but these ones, the um, Lobelia, I can't see what that says, it's String of Pearl, I think it says, I can't read it, does that say, is that, is that an S there, str str String, oh, it must be String, can't, my eyes are that bad. But uh, yeah, there's not so many in there. There is a few. But these ones are doing exceptionally well. Right, anyway, I'll come back to them. I'm going to water them. Uh, what's going on in here? Well, you can see we've got seedlings up there. Some of these haven't um, come up yet. Have a look here. These ones have, uh, are up. 
these ones are starting greyhound are up don't know what them ones are cauliflowers they're up but yeah i only put two seeds in thinking that they might have got to be careful here i can see some are falling i just sown them uh cucumbers all these things here there's all sorts of stuff i can't really see them but yeah, there's a few of them bags. I can start seeing seeds coming, things happening in the bags as well. Yeah, you can just see there in the bags, just starting to come up now. So these are all be flowering, short, be be um, be up shortly. But can see out there. Can't see out there. I can't but then I just don't put them in there. But the ones at the back are, are doing well. I'll be taking the, the lids off these shortly. Right, anyway, I'm going to walk. So there you go. Them. All the seeds are all sown. Well, not all the seeds are all sown, but the seeds, uh, they're all in the back greenhouse there. And as you saw, there's a lot of them are germinating now. The first thing to germinate, it, it, you know, it only takes a couple of days. Uh, always the, um, the brassicas. Um, I really should just put one seed in each of them stations. Every one of them what I put in is germinated. It's just typical that. But uh, yeah, we'll be pricking them out soon, sooner, we think. And uh, like I say, it's all down to space. Um, the next job I'm going to show you what we were doing was uh, we had 18 buckets of chicken mignonas. I think there was about 10 30 litre buckets and um, an 8 45 litre buckets. And what we did. I decided to, to dig it into this particular bed right next to the chickens. What we do, we dig troughs, stick it in and backfill it. So you're going to see me doing that in this. I'm going to add some music, speed it up in parts. Uh, but what we do do, we take a lot of um, the uh, compost out of the um, compost bin and chuck it into the bed. You'll see that happening. Um, but it'd be, work, it'd be happening pretty fast. And then what you'll see me tipping the buckets eight of the buckets into the the compost bin the reason for that will become clear um at the, at, at the end of the video but um the um the bed needed the chicken manure we do it we do each bed um, we treat all the beds the same uh, we do it year in year out um, i've got two compost bins full of um of compost there we've We've done all the beds now. That's what we've been working through the winter to, to get everything sorted. So it was just that bed what needed to do. And um, let me show you what we've done. All right, the tools what we was using was a shovel, a spade, and an angonade. Now, a shovel, a spade, um, a rake, and this real cool tiller that um, from Wolf. Now, it's not sponsored. This video ain't sponsored by no one because I don't do sponsors. Um, like I say, I don't... Um, don't even have the analytics uh, to make any money on my videos i've not made a penny in all years maybe two pence i may have made um but anyway and i made i don't know how many videos i made i must have made a few hundred maybe three four maybe five hundred videos there's a video on just about anything kind of so all you've got to do is uh go and sift through and see what you what you come across you'd be really surprised um just how many videos i've actually i'm surprised actually um but I'm, I'm not too sure how many I've got. I do know I've had over a million and a half uh, views, so that's that's cool. That's a shock as well. <laughs> be even if two or three people watch the videos, that'd be great. But um, yeah, this uh, coming up to I think it was about seven thousand. I can't remember. But um, yeah, thanks everybody who's uh, watches the the videos, thumbs who give me the thumbs up, um, and all you guys who subscribe. I do know there's a lot of people who watch these videos as well uh, and uh, they're not subscribed so if you want to watch some really cool videos over the next uh, 12 months hit the, the like button um, you don't have to but um, if you hit the subscribe you get to see what we're doing anyway let's get back to this uh, this this video and it's uh, me doing this putting this chicken manure into the bed well guys um what I'm, I intend to do today, I'm not going to put all these buckets of um, chicken manure into this bed. I'm going to put probably nine of them in. Uh, the other nine I'm going to put into the compost bin. So I'm going to be digging some of the compost and throwing it into the bed here. From in there to here. 
and then I'm going to tip the other twelve, another nine buckets into that compost bin. Now the compost bins, it's almost, it's all collapsed as you can see. It looks like it, it needs replacing. I've actually got uh, boards to actually replace it, but right this moment in time, um, I just haven't got the energy to do it. Uh, I've got got another chest infection. In fact, what I'm doing here now is probably going to make it worse for me. But uh, it's got to be done and um, I need to clear this, I need all these buckets emptying so now I've got to wash them, sterilise them because I actually need them for my me, me potatoes but um, I think I put the fir these first nine I put into the bed and the nine at the back I put into that compost bin but what I will do is take all, uh, dig a load of that compost out so you probably see me throwing some into the bed here now the, the compost, the, the bed itself is uh, you can see where the bloody foxes have uh, walked all over it, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, I'll show you a couple of clips of me doing it, but I'm not going to, you know, it's not going to be hours and hours if I can help it. I'm going to grab my shovel and my, uh, I'm going to grab a, a shovel and I'm also going to grab a, a flat spade. And uh, there's a few other little bits I need to, to bring over. Um, me tiller because where these buckets are here I want to just till where the buckets are because this if I go down here now and grab some of this that's the soil you know what I mean so I've already tilled this but what I, what I want to do is till where the buckets are sitting um, give that a good tilling and I, I'm going to start putting uh, I move the soil about about three four inches of soil we'll throw a bucket on then we'll we'll use the soil what we took off the top we'll cover it so it's going to be underneath the soil so that's the plan i've got to move these uh, plastic covers as well oh god not you buttercups arrived <laughs> so she's going to be a whole lot of fun but um, yeah that's what i'm going to do so you got the idea that's the plan so eventually what you're going to see is none of them buckets in that bed um, and i've also got to put me uh, my windbreak back the for the chickens the it's like a little fence that's another job i need to do whether i'm going to get it all done today we wait we baited breath but uh yeah it's very cold the temperatures dropped like a brick this week apparently there's a uh, potential snow on the way so i want to get this done Anyway, sort sort longer longer than hard, and I definitely sort long enough. Let's crack on with the job. Right, quick look at um, the tools that I'm going to be using today um, when I'm going to be working on this back bed. Put a load of chicken manure in. Now we've got this little uh, rake. It expands. It's pretty cool. I like using this. We got me um, my spade. Um, we got a tiller, which is fantastic, and we got a shovel. The shovel and the spade is totally different. The, the spade's got a, like a pointy bit on it. The shovel is for flat, flat end. So that's the difference between the two. If you're interested. Bit of trivia. Uh, but this, this um, tiller is a wolf tiller. It's absolutely wicked. I can change the heads. There's a button here and that just flips out. You can put another head on. Uh, this expands. I flip the clip. And it just gets wider. So it's a bit stupid for me to do that. But anyway... Oh god, there we go. But, yep, so we're going to be using that. So these are the tools I'm going to be using. Well, guys, we just lined all the buckets. But we're going to tip in this bed along here. Them beds, them there. We're going to throw in the compost bin. However, I'm going to dig a bit of that soil out of that compost bin. And then throw them them eight buckets in there and um, then I can grow my pumpkin later on in the year but uh, yeah I've just been using my tiller just to rate the hard bit there once I've got them buckets out of there I'll run the tiller through it first then I'll put the um, the the compot all this uh, chicken manure into this bed First thing, so I'm going to dig some of that uh, compost out of the um, compost bin and throw it into the bed. So let's get let's get started.
Well guys, there we go. Uh, 10 buckets of um, chicken manure have uh, been put into that bed. They're about three, four inches deep, maybe a bit more. Um, we'll leave that like that now for another couple of weeks. Then we'll stick a, t a tiller through it and uh, fluff it right up. And that will be absolutely awesome. Um, as you know, we've put all the other compost in that, com that compost bin. We'll be growing some um, pumpkins in that. But uh, yeah, it's been hard work doing that. I will be putting the um, fence back, the windbreak, where the, the chickens are. That'll be going, going back shortly. And um, that's just in front of the chicken pen. It's just to sort of stop them southerly winds blowing on them. Keep them from catching a chill. I think I'll just run the rake through this bed here, where the foxes have been walking across. Then clean the tools. And I think we're done. You'll be seeing fox prints in there shortly. There'll be foxes all over that bloody bed. Right, anyway, I'm going to just quickly do that one, and then we're done. All it is, I'm just going to get me rake and just rake over it. So that bird's had a bit of a rake in as well, so everything looks well with the world. Now to clean the tools and get them put away. So we've done all that, obviously we, we tilled the other one. The compost bin now is full and that's where I'm going to be growing my pumpkin. That's why we put all that chicken manure in there. I'm out to, to kick some butt this, this year with them, them pumpkins. I'm not bothered for the last two years because I felt guilty about growing the biggest pumpkin on here. And when I say growing the biggest, it's the biggest, it's over 152 pound. Uh, there's only, like I say, one person who's ever scratched, come close to it, and that was Adam with 108 pound. I'm sure he's going to try to break the record as the uh, this year, but um, I'm out to break my own record. So I've, that's what all that horse manure or chicken manure is in that that um, um, compost bin. Anyway. Um, I come down yesterday and uh, looked at the bed and true to form the foxes have been there let me show you this is what the foxes well have guys been. as i said um when i did when I, I did this bed and i put the chicken manure in <laughs> the uh, the bed will be invaded by the foxes and as you can see all these footprints all over the bed where they've been walking because you can smell the chicken manure in the bed bloody footprints everywhere there's a cat walks across there but these are all foxes uh foxes wood um footprints there my girls there i haven't done the fence because i've been working on the um, bee fence over the other side of the allotments um today but um yep i just thought i'd show you this is what the foxes have done after me doing putting all that work in, just typical. So they're not even 24 hours after me doing it, the foxes are rolling around and having parties in there. What they do, they can smell the chicken, chickens all over that bed, and uh, they're walking all over it. They can see the chickens, really confuses them, because they can see the chickens, but they can't get to them. So that's really annoys them. And uh, I say the chickens, uh, the foxes can get into the pen. Them chick, them. I, I'd be really worried about foxes because um, it take a lot to get into there. The only way they could get in is have a left the door open, and that's never going to happen. Because I'm the only one with a key, and I always lock it. Even when I'm when I've been in there, 
and I, I take the eggs and I've got to go back and still cl lock that door, make sure it's shut. But the chickens, I bet they was driving them bloody foxes mad, but um, you can see all the footprints. I'm not bothered to rake it in yet, but I've got to go back there to put the windbreak up. I was going to do that today when I come on. I just come back from the, the car boots and um, bought myself a few beautiful coins. Like I said, I bought this um, Constantine um, Roman um, silver coin. I think, well, paid a few quid for it. And I bought a proof, uh, a proof set uh, with the claimant bill of rights. I'll show you them as well. Um, at the end of the clip but um, what I have been doing I've been over um, as I come through the door they're doing the bees um, next to the uh, well-being plots and uh, they were putting the frames in so I arrived right at the wrong time and I ended up getting stuck in uh, bringing the, the, the fencing over setting them all up um, we've, which cost us nothing to do that Aaron would probably be taking the bees over later and put them into the um, into the, the new compound. He's got to put the um, the debris netting all the way around it. So we've got this Aris fencing. Uh, we're putting brand new debris netting around the the perimeter. Fans, you know, tied it all tied it all up. And uh, so the bees have to go over the top of it. That's the the plan. Um, we've got to figure out how to do a door. Um, well, they've not got to figure out. They've just got to find somebody stupid enough to to build a door, uh, build a frame and then a door onto the, um, so they can get in and out uh, with um, with the beehives. So yeah, we were over there. I, I not filmed it because like I said, there was a lot of people over there helping out. There was, um, there was a uh, Mike um, from Potting Along, he was there. That's the, the second time, it was me. Um, there was Catherine, there was Yasmin, there was um, John, um, there were Chum, there were uh, I think I said Laron. Who else? Uh, there was Jim. There was a, there was a few. Uh, like I say, there was all helping leveling the ground. They'd leveled the ground the the day before. And it was just finishing off leveling the ground, and um, it was on the slope. The bloody bees, the the, the wood chip, so it's all been leveled. Uh, they'll be over there putting the um, the paving stones sometime in the week, and uh, I'll be over there probably to try to figure out the best way to make this door. So, yeah, I'll be sure you'll be doing that probably in the up and coming week. Have you already got enough to do on my plot? I've still got that brassica cage to make on my plot yet, but. Um, these these jobs uh, taking precedence at the moment. I just want to get them all out of the way, and then I can concentrate on my own. But uh, yeah, we have still got all the seeds. Everything's sold. Every almost ninety percent of things are sold now. I've still got my potatoes to sort out. I've got all my buckets to wash. That was another reason why I emptied all the buckets of the uh, chicken in York. I needed my buckets, obviously. Uh, I've got to figure out which bed I'm going to put the uh, potatoes in. Uh, I'm not going to do any early potatoes in the greenhouse, so we don't have to do the potatoes at the moment. I've got all my, my compost here, uh, so we're good to go. Uh, then I've got to set this greenhouse up, and I can't do it all at once because I've got buttercup, so I'm going to have to do um, do one side, then a couple of days later do the second side, and work with buttercup because she, she's used to it. Um, it's, she's lived in the greenhouse for four years, guys, so you know. Uh, the ambulance going into a uh, sofa dryer there. Anyway, I'm going to head off for me me dinner. Otherwise, I'll be heading in there if I don't if I don't turn up for me dinner. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw this uh, last clip in here now of the the coins which I've been wasting my money on today. Well, if you, well, if you're wondering what I've been wasting my money on, just recently is this uh, 1989 proof set. It comes with two two pound coins in the set, and here they are. Now this one is the the bill of rights, and this is the claim of rights. The case is all it had a plaster, a sticky plaster on it, and I've actually wiped off. It looks blurry, but I assure you, these coins are in mint condition. Now. The claimer rights, which is that one there, is worth pretty much 
what the uh, the coin set is. I mean, paid thirty five for this. You can pick them up for forty, forty five, but the coin what everyone wants is this coin here, the claimer rights. This is the bill of rights. Um, I say, unfortunately, I, I really could do with another. If I can get another case for this, I would do. It's a shame, really, but these are absolute proof. These are proof coins, and um, I thought it was well worth what I paid for it. It comes in the deluxe case as well, which is this case. I've took it out of the case so I can show it you. But uh, yeah, this is some of the bump. Tells you what these two coins are. Uh, absolutely awesome. Stop the camera if you want, and now you can have a read of that. But yeah, I, I actually bought this set for that coin there. I won't take it out of the, the set. Um, it'd just be a shame to do that. But I've actually got these in silver proof as well. This set takes it to three of these sets, so I've got three sets, one for each of the kids. Absolutely awesome coins. And uh, you don't get them every day. For what I've paid for them this anyway. This is a... Well, the camera's killing it, in it, with the light. But, um, this is a, a constant um, Roman coin from 337 to 350 AD. Yeah, that's what I paid for it. That's the reverse. Let's look at the obverse. And uh, why I spent all the money is because they haven't got this emperor on, um, on my uh, Roman coins. No, I have. And I thought it was worth every penny I paid for it. So this will go into my coins, my Roman coins. With all my emperors, absolutely awesome. Find this. In fact, this is the the bargain of the day. I thought. I mean, the proof set that I got earlier was good, but this is this is even better. So that's, that's what I've been wasting my money on today. So there you go, folks. Uh, I, I really do like that Roman coin. I might start collecting a few of them. Uh, see if I can get a few of the emperors. Um, but these coins are found in the UK. I'm only interested in coins what have been dug up or been found in the UK. Um, obviously, the the emperors are from Rome and what have you, but Rome was a part of England 2,000 years ago. Anyway, um, yeah, the claimer rights and the bill of rights, the one what you really want is the claimer rights. That's the valuable one in that's, that that's proof set, what you saw there. But anyway, I'm going to wed off, like I say, if I don't get home now, it's... And um, I've got a butter buttercup up to sneak away. She's got her dinner there, so she's good to go. I want, I want my bread, I've not even had a breakfast yet, so it's off for something to eat. So I'll see you later, you all keep warm and stay safe, and I'll catch you back here for some more next week. And I'll probably show you that, what we've been doing over the on the, the B with the bees over the other side sometime in the next episode so goodbye for now folks hey there's rick over there and tracy tracy's over there she loves you hey tracy loves you go and say hello to tracy hey go and say hello to tracy no oh, you want to stay here with me don't you who's your daddy Hey, who's your daddy? <laughs>